I was just doing some Bible study. Yeah, I try to fit it in almost every day. Actually, I usually do it in the mornings because we get busy and uh, it's really important to take time for him. For God, I mean. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to finish this before that. I mean, it's kind of part of my morning routine and well, you know, it's, it's important. <laughs> hmm. I'm surprised you came over this early. Well, th that's true, but see, I'm dressed, I'm ready, and uh, as soon as I finish this, we can head out. <laughs> do you remember when we would do Bible study together at night on the phone? Before you moved here. And when you had hard days at work, I would read to you and you'd always fall asleep. It used to upset me, but I'd rather you fall asleep to, you know, Bible reading than some other things. And I know it didn't bore you, it just, it relaxed you and made you feel connected to him. Well, you know, <laughs> we kind of fell out of it, you know, during the chaos of your move. Well, I guess it wasn't really chaotic. It was good. I'm so glad that you're here now. I actually get to spend time together. The distance, it really sucked. But now we don't have to worry about that. Now you're literally like 10 minutes away, so it's okay. And I have a key to your house, so I can come in and spy on you any time that I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna watch you sleep. <laughs> well. Um. Oh, uh, it's just uh, having me read through a few sections of Acts. Uh, yeah. Acts in the Bible, you know, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, it's in the New Testament, and it's actually really interesting. Well, it's after the resurrection, so after, you know, Jesus died, and then he came back, and it's all of the parables and stories of the disciples performing miracles. And I feel like a lot of people think Jesus was the only one to do that, but, you know, it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's not true. Um, Jesus wasn't the only one to do that. There were a lot of other people in the Bible. Like, uh, chapter 3, Peter heals a lame beggar. Um, one day, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the night of prayer at 3 in the afternoon. Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg for those going to the temple courts. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him, and as did John. Then Peter said, Look at us. So the man gave him his attention, expecting to get something from them. Then Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Ta taking him by the right hand, he helped him up, and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Like, you know, Peter and John, it says Peter, but... They were both there, and it says, you know, two or more are gathered than the Lord is present. Uh, I think they usually use that for, like, prayer and stuff, but I think it's true. You know, two or more believers are gathered together, and, you know, they're worshiping the Lord, and the Lord is there. Um, 
so it 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 just goes to show that Jesus wasn't the only one who could do stuff like this. You know, Peter Peter healed this guy. And I think one of the more like prominent things about this is the fact that the man continued to praise God. You know, the, or the man praised God for what had happened to him. They weren't giving he wasn't saying, "Oh, this man, Peter, this this guy Peter, he healed me," you know. They were giving glory to God because really it was God working through Peter and John that were able to heal this guy. So it just it just talks about all the different things that they did. Um, let's see. The believers share their possessions, so you know they would share with each other what they had. A lot of times, the disciples and stuff would go around and sleep in other believers' homes, other Christians' homes. Well, I think they were Jews at the time. Uh, I'm not actually sure. <laughs> There's always something you can learn, you know. So I try and spend a little bit of time um, learning little bits and chunks because if you try and learn all of it all at once, it's going to be way too much to chew. I mean, look how big this book is. <laughs> Let's see. There's more stuff. Um, this is going into the story of Peter getting his name change, I believe. Yeah, I read through this once in Sunday school with the kids. Not the whole thing, obviously we read it in sections, but... What? Oh, uh... What do you mean, how I got all of that? Well, I don't know. It's just... It's really intriguing to me. And... We used to do it together all the time. And... I've been wanting to get back into it, but I've been waiting for you to adjust to your new work for a few days before I ask. Sometimes it's hard adding one more thing to the plate, but this... This I really, I really want to get back into. God can really help our relationship. And if he's at the center of it, then I know that we're going to make it. Not saying that we aren't going to make it without him. I, I just really think having him in our life is really important. And I want to work on it together. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, it says that, um, well, I, I don't have to read it all over again, but it's, it's Acts chapter 3, um, 1 through, let's see, 10. Oh, well, the big numbers are the chapters. So each, like, Matthew is a book in the Bible. Mark is a book in the Bible. Luke is a book in the Bible. Um, so people can often get that confused. But then the big numbers are the chapters. So let's see. If we go to the beginning of Acts, chapter 1 is Jesus taken up into heaven. And then chapter 2 is the Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. And then chapter 3, Peter heals a lame beggar and so on and so forth. But there are multiple verses in a chapter. Mm hmm Yeah, the verses are the really tiny numbers. I know, it can be a lot, especially for someone who's never looked into this before. Um, it, it comes with a few questions, though. It, uh, this little pamphlet, it says, um, when has Jesus healed you like Peter did the beggar? So you just, you ask yourself those questions. So, um, a time that I may have help, felt healed by Jesus, um, probably would have been when I went through that really, uh, really rough patch a couple of years ago, um, before I met you, but you you know about it and we've slowly been working on getting past all of those issues so <laughs> yeah we'll we'll see how it goes um but i've been you know praising god for the work that he's done in my life just like the man has so and what about you when when have you felt healed by jesus yeah yeah, that can definitely feel like healing for sure. Have you um have you been praising him for what he's done in your life? 
<laughs> yeah, I, I think you should get on that a little bit more. Thanking him, at least. It's important. And when I think when you bring it up, it's important to say, yeah, God, help me through that. Even if it's something simple, like crossing the road, you know, God, God walked me through that. I think giving him praise for everything really helps us feel a bit more appreciated. Like, we appreciate life more when we're thankful for it, you know? We're not taking anything for granted. Um, so, it's really important. I like doing it. It makes me feel better. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, well, um, <laughs> you enjoyed it? Well, I'm glad. It felt kind of rushed, but I know we have a limited time before we have to get there. And, you know, I was, I was reading a little bit slower, so you could follow along. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. I think that's really everything. Um, let me just fold up my Bible and set this over here. Um, okay, so everything, all that we need to do is we need to grab a few waters, you know, so in case we get there, stay on the drive. And I am going to grab a snack to bring with me. We need an energy drink too, apparently, because I'm pretty sleepy. Yeah, well, you know I need more sleep than you do. And someone was up late playing games and didn't call me, so I couldn't get a really good restful sleep. Well, I'm so sorry that I'm clingy and I want your attention. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, usually Bible study, I just, you know, I read through that little bit. Um, I answer the questions in my head or I write them down in a journal and then I pray and, um, I, you know, keep that vibe going and as weird as that feels to say, you know, I, I say in that moment and I go about the rest of my day. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I just kind of ask for his blessing over the day and thanking him for allowing me to have the time with him. Again, it's all about appreciation, and I appreciate him. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I can pray. Um, can I hold your hands, babe? Thanks. Um, oh, <laughs> now I'm nervous. Let's see. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for allowing me to um, be able to share this moment with my boyfriend, and I pray that you keep us safe today as we go about our plans. If there's anything that we feel um, isn't safe or that you're guiding us away from, Lord, uh, we will do our best to avoid it and um, rid ourselves of that temptation. I thank you for allowing me and my boyfriend again to have this moment with you. Um, your time is greatly appreciated and valuable and thank you for entrusting humans with this book of all of your stories and the truth behind you and all of the facts and all the things that have happened throughout your time here on earth before and after. Uh, again, Lord, I want to just um, ask your blessing on this day and help us help us to have a wonderful time together. And I pray that you continue to guide our relationship and strengthen us in you. Lord, I pray this in the name of the precious Son, Jesus. Amen. Ta-da! <laughs> and that concludes Bible study. <laughs> well, I mean, you could always get one of these books. And I know you have a Bible at home. You could do it yourself. You don't need someone to guide you in Bible study, but it is always more enjoyable sharing that with somebody. In my opinion, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, if you want to do it again, just let me know and 
I can wait for you. Or we can call and do it that way. Or we can always meet up and do it. Or we can do it before bed like we used to. But no matter what, I always do Bible study at the end of the night. <laughs> Whether it be in the morning or at the end of the night. I always do Bible study that day, I guess. Probably would have been a better way of wording it, but... Oh well. What's said was said. <laughs> Alright, just, yeah, let me know if you want to do it again. But we gotta get headed out. We have reservations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>